Are we online? Let me check. <laughs> um, Sonia. Hey everyone, happy new year to you all. I just wanted to crawl in here to the last few hours of 2021 to wish everyone an amazing, healthy, happy, and joyful 2022. Um, I cannot express the amount of gratitude and thanks that I have for everybody that has um, not only just been a great friend, great family, and of course, um, just amazing customers and fans and collectors and all that great stuff. Um, I mean, it's funny, I should say collectors and fans. I mean, most of the people who've been buying my art, I consider friends. So welcome to everyone and thank you all again for just being so supportive this last year. This is our second year kind of going into this crazy COVID thing. And, um, you know, it's it's been it's been stressful for a lot of people. Not as stressful as 2020. <laughs> I'll say that right now. But um, let me get comfy here. Um, just, you know, giving giving thanks. Um, I know that the days go by quickly. You know, I mean, here it was January, and then it was summer, and now it was fall, and then here we are in winter, and it's December 31st. And it seems like you, you cough or you sneeze, and it's another time and place in the in the um, crazy time scope that we live in. And it's pretty funny that I you, you just get busy. Uh, a lot of people are working from home and doing a lot of things at home and, you know, uh, telecommuting or um, remote or Zoom or whatever you want to call it. And you don't realize how much the time the days just kind of tick away, tick away, tick away. And then, you know, you know, we're in we're in uh, the first quarter of the year and then all of a sudden we're in the last quarter of the year. So, um, you know, it's been awesome. If anybody there is just popping in or just watching my little true confessions of a working artist, um, do I have a lot to confess today? Um, actually, I do. <laughs> um, you know, the whole purpose of doing the true confessions of a working artist is to just kind of talk about my life as an artist, um, things that I've done, accomplishments that I've done, uh, projects that we tried that didn't end up going through, um, failures, lots of failures as an artist, um, a lot of self-doubt. Um, I mean, I want to say that on, I would say 90% of the time, I, I'm, I get on here, I mean, I'm confident, I, I love what I do for a living, I I'm very confident in the creations that I do and the designs that I come up with and and all that. But then, you know, there's always that thing. It's called the imposter syndrome. And that is one of those things where it just ends up where you start doubting yourself. Oh, should I do this? Will people like it or whatever? You know what? I'm going to tell you. I don't create for people who like or don't like. I create for me. And if somebody happens to resonate with that, then that is always a good thing. Um, you know, I know I do a lot of commission work, but I do put a lot of feedback into the commissions that I do. When someone might ask me to put this in or we brainstorm of, you know, what's the concept of what they need or what they want for their, um, for their artwork, for their home, you know, I tell them, give me kind of a data dump. We'll talk about it. And if there's something in there that I, and I've learned this the hard way, if there's something in there that they want and it's just too much and it's just going to look really gimmicky, I will say so. Um, 20 years ago, I was just wanting to please everyone and just do what they wanted. And, and the end result, it was not a piece that I may necessarily have felt really passionate about. So I do speak up and I do kind of look at the whole concept of the, of the ideas. So, um, you know, there's, um, there's a lot of, I do have, that's where some of the self-doubt comes in. It's like, am I saying the right thing or am I, you know, responding the right way to what a customer would like or, you know, and they're, they're coming to me to create something meaningful for their home or their office or their family or whatever. And so I, I definitely keep that in mind, but I, I always want to make sure that everything is just, it just flows. It flows and it's, and it's, um, it's great. And there's, there's a number of them, a lot of, a ton of commissions I've done. I've just almost felt 
like I didn't want to let them go because I was so attached. So, um, and I fondly keep those in my memories and <laughs> hopefully they still bring a lot of joy to, to those families that, um, did that. So, um, the, yeah, I mean, I don't really do resolutions. I don't, I don't sit there and go, well, here's the resolutions and things that I want to do today, or I'm going to do this year and, you know, follow that, like some sort of a, you know, life's guide. Um, I set the goals for myself all year around. I am, I am my toughest person. I will, you know, this is, these are the things that I want to do. I mean, I have lists upon lists. I mean, I have a notebook here with, <laughs> I mean, pages and pages and pages of goals, ideas, things that I want to accomplish and, um, and all that. And, you know, I'm going to have to go through this book here and see what did I what did I accomplish this year and what did I maybe drop the ball on. Um, some of you might know that I have my other company called Vino Paint Creative. And there's two other companies, well, three or four companies that I have. <laughs> but they're all creative based. And I'm going on year 20. In April, I will be a full-time artist for 20 years. Yay! <laughs> so... It's been a long haul, I mean, of owning gallery after gallery, I mean, two or three galleries. We were in Santa Clara, then we were in San Jose, then we were in Campbell, then we were downtown Campbell further up the street and uh, went back to studio by appointment in 2013 and, you know, so many things to be completely and utterly thankful for and, um, you know, those are my journeys and those are my accomplishments and those are some failures too and, you um, it was a learning. And if I hadn't been able to ride the wave and go through the journey, I wouldn't know what was in store for me for the future. So um, in 2015, I created Vino Paint, which is basically me giving the gift of art to teach you all how to create in, in a variety of different mediums. And that has been fun. And of course, nearly two years ago in um, Mar uh, March, April of 2020, we spun on a dime and started doing all of these virtual via this lovely format of um, Zoom and streaming. And I did not think I was going to like it as much as I do. And I really enjoy it. And I've been able to touch more people with creativity um, more so. Uh, a lot of people have asked, why don't I do more creative, um, like, stand, you know, um, virtual classes that aren't scheduled that you can do on your own? And those I, I have been working on through Sonia Paz Creative. And, you know, here's the battle that I deal with. It's not, it's not that I don't want to get more classes out there, but I am up to my neck, swamped busy. It's busy, busy. And those classes take an incredible amount of time to film and then chapterize and, you know, get all the workbook and that, you know. Um, it's it's a little different than when I do things with Vino Paint because that's live. I do those live on Zoom or Google Meets or Google Hangouts or WebEx or whatever. And it's live, so I can do that. And it's, you know, I'm interacting with, um, with people like yourself. And what happens, though, is that when you film it, I got, I, I'm just my worst critic because I've got to make sure everything's done on there. Nobody's asking questions. So I kind of got to preload in my psyche what are the questions that are going to be asked and how to uh, overcome that or how to address those questions. And, um, you know, just want to make sure it's done right. I, I tend to be a perfectionist. Of course, if you saw my office today, you would not think that at all. <laughs> um, but I, I, um, I had to actually disassemble my entire desk today because I had to add a shelf unit to underneath my desk. Long story, um, it has to do with Ikea and some of their products. But um, anyway, I'll, I'll talk about that another day because it's too long of a story. But um, I had to disassemble my desk. The, I had my junk everywhere. And I will show you. Look at this. I, <laughs> I got a complete garbage can full of stuff that was on my desk receipts that were old i don't even know where they came from half faded and just cleaning 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 um did clean up one of the other hall closets the other day and uh took everything out organized and it wasn't that i even threw a lot away it was just getting all of the stuff in an in a really organized and i am very organized but sometimes you get busy and you just start throwing things everywhere and then you know <sighs> so 
Anyway, I will be getting more um, evergreen courses loaded up this year. Um, you know, uh, that is going to be one of my big goals. My goal is to have 30 classes in the next year. Is that a lot? That's almost, that's almost, that's not one a week. It's 52 weeks in a year. It's going to be about, well, almost like five a month or something. But it's um, certainly, it's it's all good. Um, I have a comment here. Um, let me see. Michael Haley. Um, oh, hey, hey, hey. Michael Haley, good to see you. <laughs> One thing you succeeded in accomplishing each and every day is that you inspire other art. <gasps> oh my God, you are so kind. You are so kind, Michael. Um, I met Michael, I want to say it was 2006 or 2007 at Tapestry and Talent in downtown San Jose. He's probably going to, you're going to be amazed that I remember all this stuff. <laughs> we're actually, we were in the, we were in the uh, booth right across from Family Court. <laughs> and diagonal to Adobe. So we were there in 2006 or 2007, and um, I had literally just finished a painting the night before called Magnum Force. It was one of the first ones that I did with the five bottles. Um, I don't know if I can f pick that up or find that to show you really quick. Uh, uh, it's going to be too hard to kind of load that in while I'm talking and, and everything live. But he and his son had come by. I think it was he and his son, or he and a, a friend of his had come by, and that piece spoke to him. So that is the thing that I was talking about, is that it's a piece that when there's a lot of great energy that I've created something and I can throw that, or not throw that, but present that to people, I think that energy speaks with others. And Michael purchased that painting and it um, hangs, it hung very significantly in his um, space in San Jose. And then he actually commissioned, no, you didn't commission, he he purchased some other pieces from me that I had created, uh, the Lemon Chronicles and some some other pieces. So um, thank you, Michael. I'm really glad. I know that you're uh, writing and doing art too. So I'm, I'm very, thank you. Thank you for saying that. And I really appreciate that you acknowledge, you know, um, the stuff that I talk about <laughs> and that it's it works for you. So um, that's quite lovely. So those are the things that get me motivated and get me out of my little, my little bit of my funk of a little bit of self doubt and a little bit of, um, you know, could I, should I, will I? Um, so I mean, if you, yeah, you know, and I created the podcast, the Rockstar Mentor, back in two thousand sixteen. I have not recorded a new episode in almost two years because I have about 130 episodes that are jam-packed full of free, cool stuff. Um, I definitely It just got to be where, I know this is so lame, but it got to be where that software that I was using kind of cogged down my Mac and it became just such a pain in the rear end to, to it wasn't so much recording it because, I mean, shoot, hello, I have a very cool microphone here. And I can record stuff, and it's plug and play. It was the editing part of it, and part of that process is I need to let go of trying to make everything perfect. So, you know, did I say um too much, or did I pause too much, or did I clear my throat too much? You know what? At the end of the day, nobody cares. <laughs> nobody cared but me. So I was trying to make it sound so perfect, but I think what people really want is the message, the knowledge especially from somebody who's been doing this for well over 20 years. Um, you know, have I done it all? Pretty much from manufacturing my own stuff to selling my own work. So um, lots of great content. So um, I will definitely put that in the, in my, I can't do it from the platform here because I'm doing using a streaming software, but um, I will put on there that the Rockstar Mentor is, um, is a podcast and it's, I still pay for the hosting every month. So it's there. It just shows it's inactive, which means that it just hasn't had an update. But uh, I definitely got to get myself, and this isn't a New Year's thing. This is just an always thing. So anyway, last but not least, Betty White. Oh my God. So sad. I mean, 
she's she was an amazing individual, so caring, so funny. I mean, and just so so brilliant and quick witted, and um, you know, just her her career just spanning decades and decades of um, you know of just awesomeness. You know, I mean, way back into the days when she was on Password, which seems like a gazillion years ago, but I remember that. So um, I myself celebrated a big birthday this year, the big 6-0. <laughs> so, <clears throat> yes, I said it. I said it out there out loud. So, um, yeah, I can remember a lot of things, a lot of the shows that she used to be on, and um, it would kill me so much was that she had this, you know, this, I mean, she's a beautiful, beautiful person anyway, but she had this great, sweeter-than-thou look. But the things that would come out of her mouth were very witty and sharp and wickedly funny. And, um, you know, uh, yeah. And my son and I, my son Andrew and I, literally, God's honest truth, were talking yesterday on the phone about Betty White. And he was asking me how old she was. And I said, I think she's 100. And we looked online and go, no, no, no. Her birthday's going to be January 17th which is two days uh, apart from my, um, my auntie, who's going to be 107 next month. Um, we were talking about that, and I said, you know, she's just, she's so great, and I remember her from all this stuff, and yada, yada. And, and so, and then we wake, we, today, he, he calls me, goes, Mom, Betty White died. I'm like, shut up, she did not. And he goes, yes, she did. And I'm looking it up, and sure enough. But, um, but I think she is going to always be in all of our hearts as the most um as america's sweetheart because she is she is the epitome of just a world sweetheart as being just a wonderful and um caring generous individual so oh, i'm gonna get all misty so um that's it everyone i want you to have an awesome and amazing 2022 um i don't think 2021 was bad at all um I think it's all in the perspective of what you wish to focus on. If you wish to focus on succeeding and being around, um, you know, folks who exude positivity, that's a big deal. That's a biggie. Um, you know, I know that um, I have our family um, and our, our my dear friend. I had a dear friend who passed away uh, this last year. Um a few days after our little dog passed away back in March. So it's been tough, but I really try to just focus on the cherished friendships that I had with Jeannie, um, the great many years that our doggy gave to us and that we gave to her. And it's one of those who rescued who kind of things. So I think, you know, I just want you all, to, I mean, I know a lot of people are in a funk and for a variety of reasons. And, you know, I get into a funk too, but just know that, you know, you make a difference and you all have your, your own talents to bring to the table and whatever that is. I mean, please share with me, um, you know, what, what makes you, what makes you happy. And hopefully, um, you know, we'll, get to see each other more in the in the uh, next coming year and that's pretty much it so have a great one everyone thank you again to michael for popping in uh thanks to everyone happy new year be safe be uh, joyful uh be creative continue to be creative and um you know um that's all before i get all sappy <laughs> so uh sonia paz with Am I got the, oh, whoop, sorry, wrong, wrong slide. Whoa, where are we here? Um, here we go. Sonia Paz at Sonia Paz Art and Design. Um, happy New Year to everyone and stay safe. Take care. Bye.